Hello. Can I just get a shower? Yes, please. There we go. Now we got a shower. So typically I like showering at these uh, truck stop bathrooms because it's kind of the only time that I get to feel like I have some privacy when I'm showering or using the bathroom because I usually have toilets. And typically they're like really, really nice. This one, not the best that I've ever seen, but it's definitely not the worst. And at least I've got some privacy to take my shower in peace. I also haven't showered in a couple days, so this is gonna feel really good. Very weird spot to put the shower head. I don't know why they didn't put it there, but... I guess it works. So, I'm currently on the road headed towards Las Vegas because I have a flight out of that airport uh, tomorrow at like 11 a.m. So I'm just trying to find somewhere to park that's within a uh, 15 to 20 minute drive to the airport. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. And I found this spot just off the strip um, in this casino parking lot where I'm gonna be able to stealth camp overnight. And it's like 10 minutes from the airport, so it's perfect. So that is actually one of the um, few benefits of being in Las Vegas is that there's a plethora of overnight parking because there's so many casinos. And honestly, if I wanted to, because I've done it before, I could just stay in the airport parking lot tonight, but it's not really necessary because there's so many parking lots that are so close. I'd rather just save the extra 10 bucks and pull into the lot tomorrow morning because it's not like my flight's super early. It's at 11 a.m. So I don't have to wake up too early. So there's just really no point in parking in the airport parking lot and wasting that $10. And this way, hopefully I can have a little bit of fun in Vegas before I have to fly home for Thanksgiving. But in reality, I'll probably just end up losing a bunch of money. So hopefully, Luck is on my side. All right, <clears throat> so there it is. I think that's the uh, casino we're gonna stay at. I think it's called the M, I'm not really sure. M Resort and Casino. So hopefully they have a parking lot there that I will be able to stay in, but we will see. All right, so theoretically, I should be good to just park right in this slot right here. So I'm gonna find a spot just kind of right in the middle. This is where we're gonna call home for the night, right in the uh, parking lot of this casino. Honestly, I've been to Vegas like four or five times and I didn't even know that this casino existed. So I'm interested to see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm not sure how much I am gonna be able to film in there, but I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can, uh, basically until they tell me to stop which they probably will once I sit down and play blackjack because I don't think you're allowed to record that. But I think I'm probably going to head in there now. I think I'm going to take out like 200 bucks and uh, we'll see what that turns into. So it looks like it's actually a pretty small hotel relative to the rest of the casinos and hotels on the Strip. So I'm interested to see how big their actual uh, casino floor is. Can't imagine there's gonna be many table games open today at 2.51 in the afternoon, but I guess we'll see. All right, so I wasn't able to find any table games. I guess maybe they don't open until later tonight, but we're gonna play some Wheel of Fortune, see if we can make any money. $5, we're in the high limit room. Let's see what happens. So we're betting $10 a spin here. I think we're looking for a spin symbol on this row in order to be able to spin that. So far we've won nothing. There we go, we won something. We won $25. Ooh, we won $50. But we're only at 80 and we put in 100, so we're still down 20. And just like that, we have lost $100. All right, so there was like two blackjack tables and both of them were full. So we're just gonna play some video blackjack and see how much we can win. We're gonna start off with 
$10 bets, and then some side bets as well. Not starting off good. Never mind. There we go. First hand's a win. $10. All right, so we are leaving defeated. Pretty predictably, we lost all of the 200, and then I took out another 100 and ended up losing that too, so. So if you guys want to go on my website and check out my merch, now would be the time. I'm only kidding. Now we're heading back to the van that is parked right out there in that parking lot, and we're gonna get packed for our flight tomorrow. I don't know why I always go into casinos expecting a different outcome. Every time I go in, I always lose my money, so. Today is just another one of those days. Um, I guess I probably should have saved that $10 at the airport parking lot, because in reality, I paid $300 to stay here. So you live and you learn, next time I'll stay at the airport. So for my flight tomorrow, I'm flying Spirit Airlines, which means that I have to pay for any additional bags I bring on above this backpack. So we're gonna see if I can pack six days worth of clothes into this backpack. I don't really think it should be that much of an issue because I don't really have that many clothes anyways. So let's pack. That should be pretty much it. I'll probably remember to pack a few other things later today. I'm just gonna wear a hoodie and then my brown corduroy jacket to the actual airport so I don't have to pack them because I'm only gonna need like one or two hoodies and then uh, and that should be good. So I'm gonna be honest, I kind of banked on uh, making some money and hanging out in the casino and filming some stuff in there for this video. But since I ended up losing all the money and losing it pretty fast, I don't really think I'm gonna be doing much for the rest of the night. I got myself all packed and set up right here. So I'm good to just drive over to the airport and uh, catch my flight tomorrow. And then the only thing I really have left to do before I go to bed tonight, because I'm gonna go to bed pretty early so I can get a good night's sleep before I have to be on a plane for five hours tomorrow, and then drive to my grandparents' house, is make sure I get these dishes done, take the trash out, and then just roughly clean up the rest of the van just so I don't have to come back to a messy van. And all of these dishes will probably start to smell in about a week, so definitely don't wanna leave those. So yeah, I guess this video is just gonna be a short one. As always, I appreciate you guys coming along. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. I promise I do more fun adventures usually uh, than just losing a bunch of money at the casino and then sitting in the van. And I'm actually gonna be starting my cross country road trip from Las Vegas all the way back to Maryland, starting roughly on December 1st. Um, and I'm gonna be traveling from the 1st to the 24th all the way back to Maryland, stopping at a bunch of cool places along the way, taking you guys on my adventures. So there's definitely a lot more content to come, but for now, I will catch you guys next time.